Hi everyone, so today I'm looking at some more fish cam video. So um, this is basically how to do the color correction on your, your videos or your photography whenever you're shooting underwater video, but in this case with a GoPro knockoff that I covered in my previous video. So this particular video is off of the Skyway Bridge Pier out towards the end, and so you see a school of thread fins that are coming by. And the, this isn't actually that bad, but when we look at the one we're correcting, it is quite uh, green, right? So whenever you shoot video underwater, the first, uh, basically as you descend in the water, the uh, light from the sun, the spectrum that you lose first is the red-orange spectrum of light, which leaves you with blue and yellow or blue and green, depending on which color wheel that you're using. And basically you'll end up with a blue tint or a green tint in your video and you and the be deeper you go the worse this gets and then if there's a more stuff in the water particulate matter it makes it even worse and so you want to try to correct that a little bit and take some of that green out and that's what we're going to kind of look at today so this is a video that i shot off of the skyway bridge pier it's uh, in about 20 feet of water, and as you can see, the it's very green. Basically, to correct this is over here, well, normally you would probably start from the editing screen or the assembly screen or something, but inside of Premiere, there's going to be similar uh, types of functions in other video editing software, but this is how you do it in Premiere. If it was a photograph, you would do something similar in Lightroom or in Photoshop, but you're going to come in and do a color correction. And in this case, we're going to select color up here on the Premiere tab. Then what you need to do is make sure you have the video segment selected down here. Now there's a couple different ways we can deal with this. Uh, if it's in shallower water and we don't have as much green, we could come up here and do a basic video correction, right? We could increase this over here, the tint, and bring it over more towards the purple red range which is basically adding red back in you can see that that gives us a you know a little less green tint to the picture the, the even less we could change the uh the white balance but that that's really it that does, doesn't do a whole lot at this depth uh, i mean you can see up in the top screen here where there's sunlight in the water that it does impact that quite a bit and you'll notice if you have video uh, outside of the water like when you're dropping your camera into the water this guy's going to look kind of redder or purple or whatever and whenever you do this color correction because you have red light up there and you're bringing more red into the, the picture of the video in this case, though, we're down 20 feet in the water, so a lot of the red has been cut out. We have green, green tint. What we're going to do is come over to color wheels, and this is where we can uh, basically fix whatever it's, it's in deeper water where it gets really green, or in some cases it's blue. So we don't really need face detection on, but what we're going to do is we can shift these balances towards the red spot spectrum as we come through and shift both the mid tones the shadows and the high tones you can see that we are basically taking a little bit of the green now you're never going to get all the green out of this picture that's just how it is right i mean you can try but you're going to get a lot of uh, not very pleasant effects when you do that and the mid tones so this this is the color correction piece, and this is really similar to the luminance that you would have if you were in Lightroom for the color channel. And we can dull down the luminance on the, the mid-tones a little bit. We want to bring the luminance up just a hair on the shadows and drop it down a little bit on the highlights. And then we end up with this, right? And if we do a comparison, I haven't made a huge change but there it is a little better as far as in the green tent uh, inside of that where that video where we started at. Now we can bring it even farther over if we want. And as we drop this over into the red range, you can see it's, it's going to impact the color quite a bit. And we don't want it to uh, look too unnatural. Let's do these highlights just a little bit more red. No, 
not too much, but right in there. You can bring it towards the yellow a little bit more because because really you're missing red orange light when you get this far down you can uh so i had these shifted a little bit towards the blue side and so that kind of takes some of the green out so you can kind of see the pictures and it's a little easier to to view i mean these fish we got a school of thread fins coming by on the video but yeah it, it tends to do a little uh, a little bit more easy on the eyes not so much green so so this is some video footage that i shot in howard park near tarpon springs florida it's in about 10 feet of water so we just saw a school of snook go by a school of uh, mullet and this is a snook that's passing by um, and then later on, I moved the camera down a little bit farther down the bridge out on the park. And then so there's some Atlantic spade fish that are that are out here. And then later on, some snook or not snook, but snapper. Um, but I didn't have to do a lot of color correction on this one because the water just wasn't that deep. It's only about 10 feet. So so I'm still getting pretty good light down here. There is, of course, green tint, as you can see, but not anything too severe. So this piece of video I shot off the Skyway Bridge Pier down in Tampa, Florida. So it's in about 20 feet of water. The light is really good though, so a word of caution, when you drop your camera down, right, it needs to be a really good sunny day, but you also need to think about the shadow that's being cast off, off of whatever bridge or pier or platform that you're actually standing on. If you're dropping your camera down into the shadow, you're going to not get very good light. So I was able to color correct this fairly well. You've got still a lot of green tint in the water off in the distance, but up close as these uh, sea trout and uh, pinfish come nearby, the, the color's not too bad really considering the quality of the camera and the depth of the water and things like that. Now with these cameras, you can drop down fairly far. I've seen some on Amazon now that are claiming they can go down to a depth of like 100 meters. Farther down you go, the more you're going to have to deal with the light contrast. Uh, one of the options might be to attach a, a light to your camera so that you can actually illuminate whatever's in front of you with a good spectrum of light. So that's what I have for you today. I sure appreciate you coming and checking out my video and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks. Take care.